G'day YouTube, welcome back, 1MJ here. Well, it's pretty late here in the night, I've had a big long busy day so I haven't had a lot of time to get and do a video and I do apologise so I'm going to make this pretty short and sweet. The um, action in the markets at the moment is just kind of all over the place. The whole election thing, it's got everyone in a bit of a tizzy <laughs> and no one is really sure what they want to do. Bitcoin, you know, jumped up over 14,000 for a daily close. Oh, sorry, I think it was about 13, no, yeah, I think it was about 14,000. We'll go back and have a look. It was pretty high and now it's dropped back down. It's just all over the place. So very choppy at the moment and I, I think this will just continue until the election is kind of sorted out or at least for this week, maybe not so much next week. But again, uh, I did say earlier, if something kind of drastic happens with the election, uh, I think, you know, there'll be some... Uh, possible down pressure and or just you know it can be choppy action and it seems like both uh, Biden and Trump are going to contest whatever uh, decision is made so yeah uh, that's going to be unfortunate for Bitcoin but at some stage it'll sort itself out and who knows maybe by, uh, tomorrow by the time at least we wake up here in Australia uh, there is a definitive winner uh, but that's unlikely I don't think anyone's going to concede at the moment it's too close I think they'll uh, continue to fight it out for a number of months uh, and it'll go to the high courts and all the rest of it and that to me doesn't sound great for Bitcoin I think it'll still you know slowly but surely move up but I think it's just going to be very volatile and very choppy uh, and, and I think the stock markets will uh, possibly go down uh, because there's no certain to be a certainty around stimulus and that and again it may stretch out for months so it could be some choppy times you know, there'll be opportunities in there, don't get me wrong, but I just think they'll be uh, pretty hard for most of us to get. Uh, I think it'll be more luck than anything. You know, dollar cost average is you know, generally just the best idea, not financial advice, just my personal opinion. But this probably wouldn't be a great time to try and build a position because it's likely to just be all over the place. And particularly with the alts at the moment, I mean, they're just getting absolutely hammered. You know, you can jump into Bitcoin right now at 13000 you know, basically $700. Chances are it'll probably be over $14,000 tomorrow, but then the day after that, it'll be back down around 13500 So uh, very choppy at the moment, very, very choppy. Uh, you know, gas prices come down, not too bad, but again, BTC dominance. As I said, it just continues to rise. I think we're going to see 65%. Uh, dominance at the moment yeah, everyone's jumping out of the alts and they're just panicking and look when that happens it could be I'm not saying it is I'm just saying it could be a good time to sort of buy into alts I think they are generally at their bottom I don't think they're going to go too much lower uh, and if you know there's some alts that you liked and you wanted to pick up now would probably be a great time to be picking them up but again just my personal opinion not financial advice there is every chance that they just continue to go down and BTC dominance gets up to around 75% but yeah time will tell anyway let's quickly have a look ETH it is so it's dropped below this trend line and I am sort of you know not so you know obviously madly concerned but I think there is a chance it drops down to around about 350,000 uh, sorry, $350. Uh, but it's still kind of holding on around here. There is a chance that, again, we move back up. But I just, I think at the moment it's more likely that alts are going to bleed and more and more people are just going to move into Bitcoin. Even though Bitcoin's chopping around a little bit, it's kind of staying around that sort of $13,800 level. It goes a bit above, goes a bit of below, but just generally hangs around there. But it's still kind of on the uptrend. Ethereum has been traveling sideways for a while, but kind of down as well. So again, we had these peaks back here first of September, and ever since then, we've just been, you know, really struggling to get above that $400 level. And I don't think we're going to do it anytime soon, unfortunately, at the moment. I think chances are we're probably going to come down and retest some of these lows, maybe down around kind of the $350 mark. And look, depending, things could get a little bit crazy if that happens. I think it is quite possible that we come back and test these kind of, you know, $250 levels. I don't think it's likely. I just think it's possible. And, you know, I'll just continue to dollar cost average. I built my positions many months ago. So really, yeah, you know, in, in the my recent uh, investments, the dollar cost averaging, they're not doing great on some of them. But the, the early buy-ins that I bought, again, you know, way back, uh, not long after the... 
pandemic crisis and all the rest of it, they're still doing just fine. But, you know, the altcoins I got into later in the cycle, some of them are really, really hurting. And, you know, the buys that I've bought uh, in Ethereum and uh, what else, even some of the Bitcoins, I bought Bitcoin when it was way up here. Uh, sorry, this is Ethereum. I bought Bitcoin when it was uh, at around sort of 13,800, nearly 13,900. So I've lost money on that, but it was only a couple of hundred dollars that I put into it. So, you know, that's just the way it is. That's my dollar cost averaging. It's not my long term sort of HODL stuff. Although, really, I consider buying Bitcoin under 20,000 as part of my long term HODL. Once it goes past 20,000, that will be stuff that uh, I'll be looking to sell uh, at some stage. But, you know, we'll have to wait and see. Again, you know, if things really start to rocket up and Bitcoin's, you know, really traveling fast past like 100, 130, 150,000, uh, then I don't know if we'll come back and uh, test 20,000. But I think if Bitcoin gets to a high of around about 70, 80,000 uh, and maybe a little bit higher, let's say 95, maybe even sort of 105,000, I think we definitely come back down and test 20,000 and possibly be even below 20,000. Uh, after the next cycle but that's what we're all waiting for is just to find out exactly what happens no one really knows we're all just kind of guessing but i think as long as this u.s election ruckus goes on and we don't have a clear definitive winner i think we're going to see really choppy action things are just going to be all over the place particularly for the altcoins unfortunately i think bitcoin again is the better bet but that's not to say there's not some great opportunities to get into the altcoins uh, at the moment because they have come down substantially. They could go down a lot more, who knows, but they might be around about the bottom and you don't need to time it perfectly. Don't try and time it perfectly. If you're trying to time things perfectly, you'll just miss out on great opportunities. It'll go up before you get to uh, buy in at a good price or it'll drop even further because you thought that was the price and uh, you know it was going to go up from there no one knows you've just got to make a decision and don't dump everything all in at once dollar cost average unless you know things have had like a big massive dump and again nothing i say is financial advice it's just a personal opinion let's say you know again we're we're in a bull market bitcoin suddenly retraced uh 20 30 percent in sort of 24 48 hours that would not be a bad time if you are going to consider going all in and I wouldn't ever really recommend it you know sometimes you can get lucky but most of the time it'll probably burn you but generally a 20 30 percent correction from Bitcoin over 24 48 hours chances are it's done it's uh, it, most of its drop it could go a little bit lower but it's probably going to start to make its way back up but any again you make your decision I wouldn't recommend that I, I like the dollar cost average method but you know I did kind of go in fairly heavily uh not like uh, very not very long at all after that uh pandemic crash i just you know my gut told me it was going to be a really good time and i don't think we'll ever see those prices again but you know who knows could be wrong could go lower all right i'm i'm rambling a bit sorry it's late here okay let's have a look at bitcoin so here's bitcoin so as we can see, it got right over that $13,800 mark. It actually got up to 14000 It got a daily close there. And then immediately we've sold off. And we can see that it's still on an uptrend. Basically, the lows keep getting higher, except for sort of we, we had that one, it dropped back down. But now the lows are getting higher again. So I think this is going to continue to happen. Again, I've said this for quite some time now. I believe institutional buyers are getting, buyers are getting into the market. They're following the micro uh, strategy method and just bit by bit buying it up. And that is what is constantly keeps pushing the price up. Yes, it still comes down at times. It's got volatility. It's Bitcoin. It's cryptocurrency. That's what it does. But we haven't had any real major corrections, like not since that uh, Bart Simpson head, head and shoulders pattern back here. That's really been the biggest major correction. We have had a really good pump. But look, this could definitely become this it's entirely possible i just don't know if it's likely i think there's too much hype around bitcoin at the moment and it's there's not even that much hype it's just from the institutional side of things and again people who will be considered early adopters there's some pretty big hype at the moment once bitcoin and litecoin and ethereum and all that go live next year with paypal i think that's when you're going to see things really really start to move uh i am 
I did say the other day I'm starting to feel a lot more bullish about Litecoin, even though not a whole lot has happened. You know, it's been pretty quiet with Litecoin generally, other than Mimble Wimble, which look is great, uh, a good upgrade. But the fact that they're uh, maybe cross chain compatible with Cardano soon is obviously good. But really, outside of those two bits of news, there has not been a lot for Litecoin, except for the fact it's been uh, regulated. They've, they've decided that Ethereum, Bitcoin, Litecoin, I think it was Bitcoin Cash, was it? Uh, yeah, it can be held by banks over in the States and places all around the world are just going to follow suit. Venezuela the other day said uh, they are going to uh, have wallets for their remittance and that. Uh, and the two coins they went with is Bitcoin and Litecoin. So it's all happening. I am kind of bullish on Litecoin and again it's not really from a tech point that they've done a whole lot more with it Mimble Wimble's good but you know it's not exactly the be all and end all but it's just the the regulation that it's getting at the moment I think it's going to be adopted and I think it's going to be a fairly big mover even without too much uh, you know technical updates but you can say the same about Bitcoin Bitcoin doesn't have too many massive technical updates uh, anytime soon that at least I'm aware of but it's still getting massive adoption so yeah I think this will likely continue that we're just going to keep slowly pushing up but I think it will be pretty choppy again you can see up down you know up down down up down I think we're going to see more of this I don't know if we're going to see any big moves like this anytime soon and if we do I think you'll see a fairly big red candle uh, almost matching it not long after I think we just keep slowly you know making our way up it's a little bit like a set of steps at the moment you know what i mean some weird steps i suppose but still steps all right i can tell it's way too late for me again it's nearly 11 o'clock at night here in australia but i think until this election is sorted uh the markets are going to be all over the place i don't think there's going to be any major swings uh any which way except for possibly down if things get really really ugly uh, I could definitely see some downside pressure for all markets involved, including cryptocurrencies. But let's hope that that's not uh, what's going to happen and it doesn't come to that. All right, stay safe. Be kind to one another. It doesn't look like many of us could have been on that game train, which is a little bit unfortunate. But hey, it's not all bad. And I'll see you next time.